In this video, you will learn how we can bring our GUI transactions to the Fiori Launchpad. So for instance, if we search for the Fiori application post part journal entries, we won't find anything. However, we would like to use this application. If we take a look into the backend system, so our GUI and insert the transaction code FBV0, we can see post part document and this is exactly what we want to bring to Fiori. So therefore, we do the following. We navigate back in our GUI and then we navigate to transaction code slash n slash ui2 slash flpcm underscore cust. Hit on enter. We are forwarded to the following screen and there we click on open in designer. Click on allow and here you will find all the standard catalogs with the business applications defined by SAP. What we will do right now is the following. We click on the plus symbol over here to create a new catalog where we will store our GUI transaction. So provide the title and an ID and then click on save. If you can see this error over here like I do, you need to do the following first. Navigate to the backend system, go to transaction code slash NSE01, that's slash NSE01. Then click on create, workbench request, just create one and save and navigate back to the launchpad designer. Close the error, click on cancel for now. And over here, click on the settings, workbench request, insert your request, enter a package name and then click OK. Now again go to the plus sign, provide a title and an ID and hit save. Now we first navigate to target mapping and then we click on create target mapping. Now we need to enter some information. To fill this information, we navigate to the Fiori apps reference library. So open a new tab in your browser, go to Fiori apps library and access the ZAP Fiori apps reference library. Then go to all applications for SAP S4 HANA, all apps and then search in this instance for postpark documents. Here we can see the transaction FBV0. This is what we want to bring to Fiori. So click on this one, then go to implementation information, configuration, and here you can see all the information we need. So first of all, we need a semantic object. So we copy this entry, insert it over here. Then we need a semantic action and we copy it as well. Then we add the title, so post park document. Then we also need to change the application type to a transaction because we want to bring a transaction to the system. The transaction and the system alias we can also find in the Fiori reference apps library. So navigate back to it. Here we can see the transaction code. We copy this one and the system alias we can find over here. So we copy this one as well. Now we can save and we can see the target mapping was saved successfully. Next off we navigate to tiles, this one over here and click on the plus sign. We select app launcher static for instance. Then we click here on the new tile now we need to provide some more information. So title, we will say post park documents, subtitle for instance, for FI, keywords would be parked. We could even add an icon, but this is not necessary right now. And then we need to provide here the semantic object and the action again. So this you have seen before. And then we click on save. You can see the tile was saved successfully. Now it's time to create a custom Fiori group for our tile. So we navigate to groups, then we click on plus, insert a title and an ID and then we save. Now on show as tiles we click on plus then over here we search for our created catalog which is called test group park and then we click on plus. Now it's added to our group. Now we are finished here in the launchpad designer. Let's now go back to the backend system. We navigate to the transaction PFCG, create a new role like that, click on single role, add a description and save. Then go to menu, click on this icon over here, go to ZAP Fiori Launchpad and select Launchpad Group. Search for the group ID, this one over here and hit on continue. Then also click again on this one, go to ZAP Fiori Launchpad and add the catalog. Catalog ID, there it is and continue. Now we added both the group and the catalog to our role. Let's now go to authorizations, change authorization data, first save, grant your authorizations and save. Save again and generate a role. Now let's go back, go to users and assign it to your users. Select the user, click on user comparison, full comparison and that's it. Now it should all be green. Now all what is left is to navigate back to the Fiori launchpad with our user. Refresh the launchpad. Now let's try to access the application again. We navigate to post parked documents. You can already see it's available over here. Let's click on this one. And you can see now we brought our GUI transaction to the Fiori Launchpad 
and we can work with this GUI transaction in our browser. Thanks a lot for watching this video till the end. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, then please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. See you next time.